promised we're going to finish the wreath we were working on last night during Tag Team Tuesday. Um, we're going to make another bow for on here. And my biz bud, she was kind enough to find me some seagull ribbon. So we're going to redo the ribbon on the lighthouse wreath. I didn't like it. I never have. So we're changing it. We're actually looking for seagulls, couldn't find them. So this is the next best thing, seagull ribbon. <laughs> we made this last night, Monica. This is a grapevine wreath. And we used my apple blossom sign. This is in my Etsy store. And we went ahead and put all this on a grapevine wreath. But Tag Team Tuesday, there's two of us that go on. So that only allows the first person an hour. And so I was the first on, so I got the hour. So we didn't have enough time to make this bow. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. So, so you're in New Orleans. Woohoo. All right. So we're going to use the ribbon we used the other night. I'm just going to take it off here. Because these things are not staying in place. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the two I used last night because I just, I think they complement each other really well. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting your share button, I'd really appreciate it. We're not allowed to say that, but you didn't hear me say it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do about a 12 inch tail on this bow. And I think... I'm going to start out with a six inch loop. So I'm measuring 12 inches and I'm pinching and then I'm twisting. And then again, I'm going to do another. It's called a 12 inch, but it's actually six because we fold it over. And this way I'm just matching it to make sure they match that I've got it right. And I'm going to do five loops of the two and a half inch wired. Vicki, you can send it to me in a private message. I can't wait to see it. Vicki ordered a, a Blackberry sign from me, and so I sent it to her. And I want to see a picture of the wreaths she made with it. So, okay. And then we're doing about a 12-inch tail. I'm sorry I'm late. I was having some technical difficulties. It looks like, um, who was it? Um, it looked like Willie had some technical difficulties last night getting on. For all those that hopped off of mine and hopped onto hers, Facebook wasn't cooperating for her. Well, welcome, Mary from Kentucky. Missy's from Kentucky. Can turn that machine off then? Yes, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Where in Kentucky are you watching from? Hey, Sally. Or Susan. <laughs> I always see Galley there, and then I always go to say Sally. That's all right. Sorry about that, hon. I got a surprise for you. So... That's what my hubby just handed me. Now, where is this at? One loop's a little too big here. I'm trying to find out. There it is. Okay, it's here. There we go. Did you all see the bow or the ball I posted that my uh, the puppies poop dead center in the middle of it? <laughs> I could not believe it. I've been a breeder now for, okay. I'm not sure where Missy's from, but she's usually on and she lives in Kentucky. So I think I'm gonna go with about an 11 inch on this. So 11 is gonna make it five and a half. I'm only gonna do three loops, I think, of this color. There we go. 
yeah, I posted a picture. I went to, I moved the puppies in the morning to the, to the inside of the house. They're in with the adult dogs in the bigger room. So I always move them in with me. And there was, there was one ball, they pooped dead center in the middle of it. It has all these holes in it and it sits about this high. And one of them just must have had their butt in the air. And the next thing you know, there's the inside of the ball is full of poop. How do they do that? I've never had that happen. Never. And I've been breeding since 2007. I breed Yorkies. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I have got to share this because no one is going to believe me. And then I'm like, how do I get this out of here? So I took it out to the hose and I blew it out of there. <laughs> what a crack up that was. So yeah, it was, it was interesting. And not, I have three right now, three puppies and they're leaving next week for their new homes. And it was so hilarious because I lined them up and I'm like, who did this? And of course, you know, they can't tell me. They're just looking at me like, what are you talking about? So it was, it was hilarious. Me <laughs> my morning. <laughs> All right, so remember I showed you last night, I take a piece of ribbon and I remove the wire from it. And then I'm just making sure you guys can see okay. Then I fold it over, like fold it in threes. So you, the black part, this outer surged edge is inside where you won't see it. And then we use this to cover up our pipe cleaner or tinsel tie, whatever you use. In this case, I am using a pipe cleaner because it's the darkest one I have in color and it should blend really well with the um, wreath base so you won't even see it. Hey, Esther. Yeah, Esther saw our poopy ball. <laughs> oh no, did I? Oh crap. Thank you. Glad you're paying attention, Sharon. Because <laughs> I'm not. Let's see. What can I open this up with? I'll use the needle. See, I get overconfident and I just gotta calm down. I have a I'm on a sugar rush right now, so that's my own fault. Didn't have time to grab something, so I grabbed some cookies, and that's like the worst. Thank you, Esther. Appreciate that. <laughs> yep, see, Esther. Esther lives in Canada. I, had, I was part of a group a while back, and Esther was one of the great ladies in our group. And she's from Canada. And she's making some awesome gnomes, guys. Which, speaking of gnomes, I got some new ones coming up. I'm actually getting ready to, either today or tomorrow, videotape on how to make those um, ice cream cones. And I will be posting that on Etsy as a tutorial. But you will also be able to purchase the fabric to make the um, ice cream cones. All right. Whew. Crisis averted, Sharon. Thank you. All right. Now, re-twist. Okay. Make sure we got them all there. They're all there. All right, now we'll put this back on. We folded a piece that we removed the wire from. We folded it three times to put the surged edge on the inside so you wouldn't see it. And then you put a nice tight knot in there.
All right, so we've got three of the shorter loops that we did at five inch, five and a half, because we measured it out at 11 inches and then folded it. And then the bigger ones are now off center. We have those at six inches. So we measured it at 12 and folded it. All right, so now we're gonna put it on our wreath. Whoa, sorry. These darn grapes. <sighs> breathe, right? Just breathe. <laughs> and then we'll show Susan. Aw, oh, thank you, Sharon. That's so sweet of you. You guys are awesome. Miss Z is on here from Bulgaria watching. She's my girl. We just love her. She saves my butt every time. <laughs> Angie does awesome work. No, it's just the, the wreath base caught on it. I just, I love this ribbon. This ribbon is also in my Etsy shop. It matches the sign perfectly. And Susan Skelton, she used it a while back. And on one of the, I don't think it was her lemonade, it was the Magnolia one. She bought um, the Magnolia sign in my farmhouse collection. And she used this ribbon, and I absolutely love it. And I know everybody uses, like, the red apples. I wanted to do it up different, so that's why I went with the green apples. And the green apples will also be for sale in my Etsy shop. Thank you. Right now it's in the evening. It's probably around 9 o'clock. Am I right, Z? Is it nine o'clock? Your time now? Every morning when I wake up, I look to see if I have a message from her. And I always say good morning and she says good afternoon or good evening. <laughs> so. She is a sweetheart. One of these days, she's going to come and visit me and stay with me. And I mean it. Because I don't do airplanes. So, I won't be traveling. I hate airplanes, guys. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Z. I was jealous. You should have seen the pictures she sent me this weekend of where she was on a beach. Urgh. Hi, Bobby. Bobby is moving soon into her new home. Whoop, whoop. More room for Yorkies. <laughs> I hope Chris isn't within earshot. <laughs> Did you see what happened? Where one of them pooped in the ball today? All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Those colors just play off of each other. And it's always a good touch to add a little black into your wreath. And I don't have any in here, so I just thought it was nice just to add that. And that kind of matches that cream in the ribbon. Now I think I have one more roll of this and it's two and a half inch wide. What I have coming in that should be here tomorrow or the next day is the one and a half inch. 
So, and the snowman ribbon will be back in stock. Um, the red snowman, that ribbon's coming. So isn't that pretty? Beautiful fall wreath. I love it. Oh man. All right, let me get this cleaned up here because we might as well show you the new signs. And surprise Susan. She was waiting on these. That's what my husband was doing. <laughs> he was printing for me. All right. I don't know if, I think I've showed you the process on here before. This is sublimation printing. And one side of this sign is white and the other side is metal. All right. You then attach the paper to the white side and you put it on a heat press at 400 for 60 seconds. Susan's excited. Okay, Suze, here's the first one. Fall is in the air. Susan wanted fall bike signs. And she wanted to match the ribbon herself. Oh, no. See, don't tell me you haven't flown. <laughs> I haven't. I got so sick. Ugh. And this is the other one. She loves it. Yay. Where do you see the next one? It's beautiful. Sorry, it takes so long to get that off. Okay. Fall breeze and autumn leaves. Check out those blues, Susan. Any hearts on that one? <laughs> so those are the two new ones in the fall collection. And then we have a few more in the fall collection. Just let me get them out of here. So those are the two bike ones that Susan wanted. Oh, look at all the hearts. Oh, she loves the blue. Yay! All right. I, I am just in love with daisies. And right now, I've got daisies in my garden all over. And I just fell in love with this cow. So this one says, coffee first, then cows. Okay, so we've got that. I just think that's so cute. And then our next fall one. Who's there? Wow, look at all the hearts. Woo-woo. Yay. Let me see. Are you guys seeing this okay? Yay. Then this says, welcome to our web. I don't do a lot of Halloween signs because I don't sell a lot of Halloween wreaths. So, so there's that one. And then this one, these are going to be the new gnomes. I actually am going to be printing the fabric for the hats. So, isn't that cute? I can't wait. Then this one, now remember, I don't think I have them down here still. Yes, I do. Now remember, when we designed these signs, we kept in mind the, the ribbon that would best go with it. All right. So this one says, all roads lead home for Christmas. Now with this one, you can use this and this also says 
all roads lead home for Christmas. Okay. Um, let's see, because of the snowman on there, we have this snowman ribbon in the in my Etsy shop. That can also go with it too. Hey, Teresa. So you've got those choices with this. Um, so you've got it in that color and we have it in this color. Now, fall wreaths, it, you know, it, I think it all depends on the person, whether they celebrate the holiday or not. So, you have to have that ribbon. I know, right? And we're going to be coming up with one to match this one. This one has gnomes on it. So, the one gnome has like polka dots. He's gray hat with polka dots, red bottom, mittens candy cane in hand so we'll be playing with that too and this one because we use this um, border on here look isn't that awesome it goes with it so and this one too because it has the red and the beige in there, you could also use this ribbon with it. So in setting these up, we kept in mind all the ribbon that was available for it. But this one, okay, you saw this one, I think earlier, the Hello Fall. It doesn't matter, Susan. I can set you up an invoice like we've done in the past. If there's some ribbon you want shipped with it, um, I don't have it all listed yet. The signs, these signs are not listed yet. I'm hoping to do it today or tomorrow, but I'll have my grandson tomorrow, so it's gonna be tough. And then we've got this one. So you just tell me I know they're flying, Z. They always fly. And then we've got this one, the Hello Fall with the Scarecrow. These three have got to be my all-time favorite. All right? I'll be home for Christmas. Look at him. Is he not the cutest? I just love this one. And then I have this one. Snowballs, five cents. So with this one, you could also get it this way. So there's two ways, horizontal or vertical. But I love the vertical ones because if you're doing a grapevine wreath, a vertical goes really well on this. If you're doing a swag, you know, the teardrop ones, a vertical is awesome for those. So, and I still have like four more I'm working on. Like we've got this, we've got this ribbon too. So I want to do something with a scarecrow. I mean, this one would work okay with this but I want to do something with this yet and we've got we've got this leaf ribbon it's got glitter in it so we'll be able to incorporate some glittered leaves um, we've got this we've got this with the black and the orange now that would probably go nice with the welcome to our web sign okay and like i said i got a whole bunch more coming in hey missy missy where in in kentucky do you live we have someone on here from kentucky and i couldn't remember where you live now because missy just jumped on 
I'm probably going to bore you guys, but we got to go through the signs again. Or Missy is going to be disappointed. <laughs> all right, Miss, here we go. We'll go backwards, all right? Can you see the blue wheelbarrow ribbon? Oh, that one. And you know if I have ribbon, I sell it by the yard. Okay, so we've got I'll be home for Christmas. We've got snowballs, five cents. Missy is a ribbon and sign a holic like I am. <laughs> I have so many in my shop. Okay, and then you can get the snowball going this way too. And I think you've seen this one. This has a glittered um, black glitter here, gold glitter here, and then burlap in the middle. So we've got Hello Fall. This one's Let It Snow. And see, there's a couple more ribbons that are coming in. I have a Christmas, I have a like a pine tree coming in too that should match this. And then we've got this Hello Fall. And that would go really good with this, this ribbon here. Because this has got that beige, brownish hue in there. <laughs> and then we've got All Roads Lead Home for Christmas. And that comes in the black or the red. So you have two choices there. Then we have the new gnomes that I will be making to go with this one. I'll be making the hats to match the hats in the picture. Then we have who's there. And welcome to our web. Coffee first, then cows. Because all my daisies are in bloom in the yard right now, and they are just massive. And then we have the um, Fall Bike Series. Fall Breeze and Autumn Leaves. Thank you. And we have Fall is in the Air. They're not all in my Etsy shop as yet, Mary. They will be. I have a couple of them in there, but not the newest ones. So they will be put in there shortly. Then the snowman one, we changed overnight. All right. So this is hot off the press. But if any of you have the snowman ribbon from last year, it came in gray and it also came in tan. Yes, I changed them. We changed them. We changed them up. It will still coordinate with that ribbon though. But what we did was filled in his body and we added some buttons. You want them, but you just want them to say Merry Christmas. Which ones? Which one? The gray one or the tan or both? You want both without the words and you just want Merry Christmas on them. This one says friends make winter warmer and this one says there's no snow place like home. You tell me which ones you want changed 
and we can change it. You just want them to say Merry Christmas, right? We can do that. I'm sure they're being put on the list as we speak. <laughs> All right, you want both of them, both the snowman ribbons, and you want both of them to say, just Merry Christmas. All right. All right. So, we finished this. We added this bow to it. Oh, oh, did it again. Keeps getting caught on the back of these. I'm going to have to snip some of them. So here's last night's apple blossom. This is from my farmhouse collection. All right, so we finished that. And we showed you the new signs. But, thank you. I have hated this bow since I did this, this um, wreath. I wanted this bow, I wanted seagulls in this wreath, didn't have seagulls. Sorry, there we go. I wanted seagulls, we couldn't find seagulls, but look what um, Denise, the one that won the, uh, she's the one that wanted the um, lighthouse, and she won the contest, so she got this free, okay, yep, there it goes, when I dropped it, it, <laughs> it zoomed out, or in. So anyhow, she told me that Joanne's had this ribbon with the seagulls on it. So I begged um, Willie, because <laughs> they didn't have any in my um, Joanne fabrics up here. I begged her to get me some, and she was so sweet. She found it, and she sent it to me. So now I finally feel like I can complete this wreath. Like I said, I just hated this bow. Just didn't work for me. So we're going to take it apart. And we're going to do it different. And I think I'm going to take out this yellow and this um, turquoise or light blue, whatever you want to call it. So we got to get out the big guns here. Take this apart. I do like the tan and white. I do like the black check because the lighthouse has the white and black. I do like the dark blue and I do like this. I just don't like these two. So I'm going to go ahead and definitely use this. And I want to put another one in there. But I kind of wanted to put this in there. But then we, we tried that before. No, I don't want that in there. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to put this in there. Go with this, possibly. And we need probably one more in there. Any suggestions? There's the apple wreath. It's finished. We did the second bow. I just love it. And this ribbon will be in my Etsy store. I don't know if this is just too... What am I looking for? I'm looking for something... Hmm. I'm thinking... I'm not sure. This is the sign.
maybe I'm gonna go with this because thank you okay I will Susan thank you I like this because this has the sheen of the ocean and part of the sky in it, but I feel like that's not enough. So, I'm um, thinking, thinking, thinking. This is always my standby. I always love this ribbon. I think we're going to add this and this in with this let's see what that does i definitely think this is out but before it just didn't work for me it was awful so it looked like what i was doing here was just like two of each one except the darker blue Okay, I did three and two, three and two in this bow. All right. I do have some orange, but it kind of fights with the peach. But yet it's in the seagull's mouth and legs. See, it kind of... See what I mean, Z? Let me put these on and then we'll see if it needs that too. Maybe if that was on the front, because there is the orange in the sign. So, all right, so this was three loops. So this next one will be two. Just trying to get it even here. There we go. So it was two, three. This will be two. Do about a 12 inch tail. I'm just going to go a little bit smaller than the other one. Did you get kicked off? See. There. We got that in there. I like that so much better. And then we're going to go with this next. We did two, now we're doing three. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put the orange in next and then put this over top of it to tone it down a little. Let's see how that looks. So the next one will be two loops and then the blue will be a third. Maybe um, that'll look right. That'll just be enough to pop a color in the middle, but then this will bring it all to the forefront. So this one, we should do three of. Am I losing everybody? Is everybody still here? Got a better connection today than we had yesterday, that's for sure. Or last night. It was buffering. And then poor... Willie got kicked off. She couldn't see anything. I'm going to go a little bit smaller on these loops. 
So let me pull some of this out of here. There. All right. All right. I'm happy with that, I think. To get a zip tie. and get this together. It's a small one. Z, is the virus gone from your place or do you still have cases of it popping up? Because we're, it's going crazy again back here. And my husband had asked me if it was pretty much gone in your area. And I said, you know, I haven't asked her. So what's it like over there now with the virus? And are your kids going back to school in the fall? Do you? For those of you that just jumped on, Z is from Bulgaria. And we were wondering how it was going over there. So when I first met Z, her son was home from school because of the virus. Oh, that's good. I know it's, it, I saw it was getting, it was bad in your area again and Missy and Arizona and Texas and Florida. All right, let's give this one a shot and see if I redeemed myself because <laughs> it was pretty bad. You guys probably didn't think so, but I, I, ugh, I could not get past that bow. Ugh. That orange is looking pretty good, I think, see? Because it's in there. Okay, summer vacation now. Oh, he'll start kindergarten? You mean he's going to be out of the house? <laughs> when does your oldest one start back? Poor Z has been stuck inside with all her guys for how many months now since February he's on summer vacation when does his summer vacation end okay so we've got three don't tell me I missed I did oh. Oh, that's not good. All right, we gotta wrap this around because we missed a loop. So we gotta fix it. There. Uh, 
Oh, September 15th. Okay. Because they're talking about August. And they're saying they have to go back. But a lot of parents don't want them to go back. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I know he's been using your computer and everything. All right, let's see if we can make something of this now. So like I said, it was not good. Shift. There we go. I can't get this right. We're just going to pull the whole thing apart and start over. You know what I mean? Okay, so we've got three, two, so there should be three, there we go, of the darker blue. And then we've got two of the seagull. And then we've got our can with white polka dots. And then we have the orange. There we go. And then we have like our marine looking blue, green. I think it looks way better than the first bow did, but I'm not sure I'm in love with it just yet. So I will sit on it for a couple days. Not actually sit on it. <laughs> Don't want to sit on it. <laughs> then I'd have to fluff it again. But you know what I mean. This one's pretty long, so I'm going to shorten that a little bit. Actually, a little more. There we go. And I think I'm going to go up with that so it's going in the right direction. The seagulls are flying right. This check ribbon is really, really soft. It doesn't have a whole lot of body to it like the canvas ribbon does. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult to work with. But I still like the color um, because of the stripes in the lighthouse. And somebody requested the same lighthouse with
with uh, Christmas lights on it and possibly a wreath on the front of the truck to make it look like um, Christmas. Note to self. <laughs> do this right. That has both both blues in it. It's got a darker blue, it's got a greenish blue which matches down there. So this one's just hard to roll. I think I'm going to use my Dow. There. And I think with the blues and the beige, I have enough of a barrier between the peach and the orange. So I think you're right, Z. I think it works. Thank you, dear, for the suggestion. like twirling the one and a half inch and leaving the two inch. There we go. I think that's better than the other one. What are your thoughts? Anybody still here? <laughs> Did y'all leave me? Hey, Carol. Welcome. I think I'm going to trim this off. I think it's a little too long. Carol. Carol likes my talented Yorkies. <laughs> that's a trick I didn't teach them. That's for sure. They learned that on their own. And it's the first one and I've been breeding since 2007, so they're getting smarter. We made this last night, and today, because we only had an hour, I came back on and I finished this bow. And then... My girlfriend found the seagull ribbon at her Joann's down in um, Virginia, so she sent me the seagull ribbon. So I wanted to redo the ribbon on this because I didn't like the other one. I'm not sure about this one yet. <laughs> I'm still debating, but I think it looks better than the last one did so I think I'm gonna chop this off I'm just gonna keep hacking away at it and then I won't like it and then I'll take it apart again 
And let's bring, let's see if we can get one of these up there too. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Thank you. Oh, you looked in your email, Dawn, and you're okay with that one? And I know you want the roll of mesh. Those were the only circle um, frames I had. And because I'm going to stick it on the other computer and kind of erase the edges. But if you're okay with it, I'll get it printed today. And it'll get shipped tomorrow after I invoice you. If you're okay with that. We did a redo of the ribbon from the lighthouse. I wasn't liking it. It needed to be, it needed something else, and um, Willie found the seagull ribbon for me. I do have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I do have some starfish that I found that I thought might look good in it too. Just as a little pop. Or something different. So what do you think? Yay or nay to the starfish? And do you like the ribbon now? What's your thoughts, people? Boy, there must really be a delay on Facebook. I could not find seagulls to save my life. Okay, eight inch round and the roll of rainbow mesh. Yes to the starfish. All right. Finally, I can finish this sucker. I have been hating this since I did it. Sometimes you have to step away from the project and then go back. And that ribbon, Denise, who won the, um, the um, lighthouse sign, she sent me a message and she's like, I still can't find you, uh, your seagulls, but she said, Joanne's has Matt has the ribbon with the seagulls on it. Seagulls on Amazon? Ugh, I'll have to look there. All right. And hopefully we can get um, a Christmas lighthouse sign done. And we have those Merry Christmas snowmen signs to do. Yeah, I, I just think it needs like one seagull on here. That's all I want. Probably have to buy a pack of 50. Yep, have to step away from the project. I feel better about it than I did. What do you think? Yeah, they come and go. <laughs> Different time zones. I've got a fly in here. How dare he? Okay, I don't see any angry faces, so I see thumb. Oh, I see an angry face. What? What's the angry face for? Really? Oh, man. Angry faces don't make me feel good. <laughs> or 
Or did you hit the angry face by accident? Come on, fess up. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I'll look for some seagulls and then uh, put a seagull up top here, maybe like right here. You love it, Nanny Dot. Oh, Nanny Dot, Dot loves it. All right, then we're good. All right. I don't know. I think so. I hope somebody just accidentally hit it <laughs> or didn't have their glasses on. All right, so I'll get Dawn signed together with the mesh. I'll list these on Etsy, the new signs. Then um, we will get the Merry Christmas snowman signs done. And I will get um, Sally's, Susan's, I did it again, Susan signs off to her. Uh-oh, got to feed Gunner. Love you too, Esther. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and putting up with me and <laughs> helping with suggestions. We always like suggestions. And if by next week I can figure out how to go live on YouTube, that's where we're going to be. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Because once I get to a thousand, we are giving away, giving away five signs. So I'll go back upstairs. I'll put all the links in here. Link to my Etsy store. Link to, let me see. I'm going to do it right from here. Link to my um, YouTube channel. And if you wouldn't mind going in and hitting the red subscribe button, then... Um, and then email me your email address, and I'll put you in the drawing for the five sign giveaway. Okay? And watch for the new ribbon. should be in today or tomorrow. So, all right. There's all the links. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you hadn't. There you go. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a great evening. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.